Vishwa bro, you can start. Happy morning to one and all present here. Welcome to Memory Technologies. I had like to quickly introduce myself, Vishwanathan, and my colleagues in front, Rajesh, Danish, and Santosh Shiva. We are glad to be here with you today. Now let's get started. We are looking forward to talking with you all today about extracting data from PDF using different types of libraries. Next slide. Nowadays, most businesses send and receive invoices and payment receipt in digital format, including scanned PDF images, text documents, or uh, Excel-based invoice templates. Although these digital formats have allowed workplaces to transition to a paperless environment, they have introduced a new challenge for business analysts, that is, extracting the data hidden in these PDF invoices and using it to produce and draw relevant insights. Data extraction involves pulling data from uh, different sources and converting it into a useful format for further processing or analysis. First of all, we should know about the PDF. What is PDF? Uh, PDF stands for uh, Portable Document Format. It uses .pdf extensions. This type of file is mostly used for sharing purposes. They cannot be modified, thereby, thereby preserving the formatting of the file intact. Hence, they can be easily shared and downloaded. They are meant for reading and not editing. They look similar on any device. They are opened independent of the hardware, software, and the operating system. Hence, um, they are the most widely used format. It was invented by the Adobe. It is uh, now an open standard by International Organization for Standardization, ISO. In this webinar, we will show different way of extracting uh, data from PDF. And uh, there are uh, some common libraries for uh, PDF in Python or uh, PDF Minor, PDF Query, Tabula, XPDF, PDF Flip, Camelot, um, and a PyPDF. There are a lot of libraries are available in Python. Here we are going to discuss a few of them. Over to Danish. Yeah, PDF Flumber. PDF Flumber is one of the library in Python used to extract a text and a table in the PDF. PDF Flumber have uh, many objects derived from the PDF minor. Character, lines, red. Character represent a single text character. Line represent a one dimensional line. Red represents a two dimensional. Work based on a machine generating rather than a scanned PDF. PDF number is easy to use and open source. It gives some more accuracy while extracting a text and table. PDF number uh, table detecting is inspired by table library. Next slide. Attribute used from a PDF number in our project uh, first open used for read a PDF. In between the parentheses, need to give the file link. Our next pages, used to count how many pages present in the PDF. Uh, next, uh, text, extract text. It is used to extract uh, text line by line. Next, extract table. It is used to, to extract a table in the PDF. And finally, uh, extract words. is used to extract uh, each word from the PDF. Let's move to coding part. Yeah, just a second.
Yeah. Okay, first, uh, we are installing a library. I'll just run that. And then we are importing the library PDF plumber. Then assigning the file in uh, variable name uh, PDF. Yeah. The open attribute is used to read a file, as I said before. Uh, then we need to find how many pages present in the PDF by giving the PDF.pages, uh, which have our own page. Mm. Okay, yeah. First, we, we saw about uh, how to extract a data by uh, line by line. Yeah. Just scroll down. Line is a variable assigning a page zero, we extract text. This function is used to extract text by line by line. Uh, here we displaying that here you can see the all lines are extracted successfully, but in between the next line, it have a backslash n. Uh, so we need to split by backslash n. and stored in the ln variable. Just run that. Yeah, now you can see the output is uh, in the list format. Uh, you can see how beautifully it comes uh, came uh, by line by line. With this, we easily extract data by using uh, its index. Here we here we extracting a invoice number. You can see in the fourth line here. It has a invoice number and date. We need to split that and store in a data. I mean variable. Like this, we we extract data from by giving it index. Okay, next. Uh, next, we move to the ta extract table. The extract table is used to extract table. And we display that. In just a second. Yeah, we displaying that. 
and the output is in the nested list. Uh, it shows uh, every line as a list. From here, we extract data by giving a index of that. Similarly done for the all data. Yeah, you can see those. Can we arrange the data and the stored in a history here? We extract data, uh, what we want to extract by using a, its key, by giving its, uh, in use the, we need to extract uh, invoice number means, we just give a key and it will came. Yeah, here it's extracted successfully. It's just the printing the whole data, I mean, in the dictionary. Uh, next, extracted by uh, words. This function used to extract each word in the PDF. Mm, then we importing a pandas library for to convert uh, data frame of these libraries, uh, each words. Uh, here, uh, X1 uh, is a difference between a left side character. X0 is distance between a right side character. The top uh, distance between a top character. And bottom is a distance between a bottom character. And uh, doc top is a distance between a top character from the top of the document. Using this filter command, we can uh, extract uh, what you want and uh, what the data we want to extract. We can use the filter and we extract successfully. Go to Vishwanathan. Thank you, Danish. And then we move to the pipe PDF2 library. Yeah, PyPDF2 is a Python library used for uh, performing major tasks on a PDF file, such as uh, extracting the document specific information, merging uh, the PDF files, and splitting the pages of the file, adding watermark to your file, encrypting, and also uh, decrypting the PDF file, and um, etc. There are a lot of uh, functions available uh, in this PDF, uh, PyPDF2 library. Mm, we will use the PyPDF to library um, for um, you can uh, run on any platform without any platform related dependencies on any external libraries. Um, so we can use a PyPDF2 to, to extract um, metadata and some text from your PDF. This can be useful when you are doing certain type of automation on a pre-existing PDF files. Um, then. Uh, So uh, all the operation that could be thought uh, in the PDF file can be easily performed in Python using PyPDF2 library. It is purely uh, written in Python. Therefore, it is completely platform independent. And also it is easy to use and provides great flexibility. Um, then move to the coding part. In front. Can you share that code? Page up. Yeah, for the for installing PyPDF2, we have to uh, install by pip install PyPDF. After that uh, installation completed, we import a PyPDF tool. Uh, here we using the data.
data set of a uh, food calorie list which is already in the pdf format file after open up and uh, read the pdf file and uh, we should read how many number of pages are available in there as, as they are shown in that also mm, after that um, import the numpy um, after uh, there are a uh, lot of uh, data which is available in the table format so we uh, convert that uh, table list into the um, in your normal list like uh, which is in the table form we have to convert it into the tab uh, in, into a list form um, after uh, as we hear the code shows that um like uh, we we only uh, extract uh, first five rows from the table like as uh, shown in the figure uh, like uh, for i in range 0 to 5 print the list that is um, can you show that um, data set uh, in fact if possible PDF file. Yeah, go down. I think uh, I extract from that third page. Go down. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I took this page. Um, and uh, I extract from this table uh, f first uh, five rows only, as as I shown in that uh, collab. Now go there. Yeah, this is the uh, this is a, uh, one of the application of a uh, pi PDF. We can do uh, like uh, merging it and uh, decrypt and encrypt and everything uh, is uh, easy. Uh, is done by pi PDF library. Yeah, thank you. Then over to Santosh. Good morning all. Let me explain the library tabula, which is uh, which is used to for extracting data from tables. Tabula is an excellent tool to extract most, most tables. It is superior to its competitors as it handles many of the general test files and it has automatic table reduction. It is a uh, open source and it is used used for suitable output format. Tabula is a tool based on graphical user interface application. It converts the PDF file directly into data frames or JSON using Python programming language. The user can also extract tables from PDF and convert them into TSV, CSV, or JSON format files. Generally, it is not necessary that the data we use available in CSV or JSON format. The data can be stored in the form of a table in a PDF file. News organizations such as the Times of London uses this tool in order to power investigative reporting. There are also some organizations such as schoolcuts.org that depends on Tabula in order to convert clunky documents to human friendly resources. Uh, apart from the above, there are researchers from the other background who utilize Tabula for turning their PDF report into Excel spreadsheets, CSVs, and JSON format files. And it is used for the purpose of analyzing and database application. Now we will see the implementation of Tabula in Python. The uh, first step is the installation of the library. Since Tabla API is an open source library of Python, we will use the pip install in order to install the library. Once the installation is complete, we can verify it by simply importing the library. Then we are using the read PDF command in order to access the specific PDF that we want. Then we are just extracting the data from the third page as we said earlier. Finally, we are converting the output into the JSON format. Similarly, we can do this process for all the pages. Thank you, over to Infant. Yeah. I'm going to tell about Camelot library. Uh, Camelot is a Python library that can help you to extract tables from the PDF files. And Camelot also comes with packages, uh, a common line interface. And Camelot works uh, only with text-based PDF and not scanned documents. As Tabla explained, explained uh, by Santos, if you can click and drag to select text in a table in a PDF viewer, 
then your uh, pdf is uh, texture based then configurability of a camelot gives you control over table extracting process with a uh, tweakable uh, settings and tables that are not uh, extracting correctly can be discard, uh, discarded based on matrices like accuracy and white spaces then this uh, we can get uh, from a uh, parsing report method camelot provide lot of flexibility when extracting a table via a number of uh, parameters each table in a camelot can be uh, converted each table can be converted to a ponda data frame which can be used for further analysis or pre processing and uh, camelot can give flexibility to export a uh, table to multiple formats like uh, we can know csv uh, excel json html and sql then we can see uh, example coding of the camera uh, this is the coding here um, first we need to uh, import before importing the camera